enough crowd. I've seen sloths with more energy than this audience. <laughs> it worked. Tweak, Tadashi, and Rala were inside the cave. <laughs> The rocks are a mite unstable, Tweak. Gonna have to go slow or we might have another cave-in. Hopefully not too slow. Kato needs my help. Now, here's another one for you. Do you know what happens when snow blows in my face? I shiver me whiskers! Ha 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 ha! Something's coming on in that cave. Oh dear. Quasi's distraction may not be enough. Hmm. Well, Admiral Sweaty Sock, I know we haven't done our routine since the Polar Scouts talent show, but it's showtime. Say, hey, everyone, what have we got here? Well, Admiral Sweaty Sock, these lovely hyenas are the audience. What? Well, I shall entertain them. There once was a scruffy hyena who seemed to get meaner and meaner till she put on a tutu and danced with an emu, and now she's a mean ballerina. Oh! You're a natural comedian, Captain. Just listen to those hyenas laugh. Oh, I don't think they're laughing. I believe that's the sound they make when they're about to hunt. <laughs> this could take a while. Maybe I can squeeze through that gap in the rocks. Okay, Peso. But be careful. Looks like a dead end. Don't think I can move this rock. Whoa! I'm stronger than I thought. Oh, I suppose it was you who moved that rock, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, so you're here. And this must be Kato. I'm Peso, and I'm here to help. Now hold still. There. Is that better? Yes. I can stand now. <sighs> That's one problem solved, but we still need to find a way out. Gemma and I could scout for another exit. Hey, where's Gemma? I'll use my wonder cam to search the caves. We'll find Gemma, I promise. Where are you going? Away from you! It's an instinct! Oh? What's going on? Oh. We are completely buried. There must have been a big snowstorm. So you're saying we're trapped? Yes, yes. But fortunately, like all good Arctic foxes, I have hidden food supplies in every room. Ooh. Where is all my food? Um, gone? Gone? Gone where? I use your food to feed my kids. You have kids? Ah, no wonder you would not leave. Uh huh. You still mad at me? Ah, no, no. But we are still stuck. And it's going to get a lot, lot colder. I'm scared, Papa. Me too. What are we going to do? What I should have done in the first place. Sound the Octo Alert! Octo Agent Natquick, report please! <laughs> the captain means, are you enjoying your time off? No, no! I am trapped in my burrow by a big snowstorm! Hmm. That sounds bad, Professor. And it gets worse, worse. My family home has been overrun by a red fox and his kids. I'm not surprised. Temperatures have been warmer than usual in the Arctic. So red foxes are free to move further north and take over Arctic fox dens like yours. Yes, yes. And now we are stuck here together and they've eaten all the food. Don't worry, old friend. We'll mount a rescue mission right away. Oh, thank you, thank you. There's another problem, Captain. Red foxes often migrate too far north, and then they aren't ready for Siberia's bitter cold. Hmm, 
Then we haven't a moment to lose. Shallington, Dashy, with me to the Octo Ray. <sighs> to avoid any more problems, I will stay on this side of the den and you stay on that side. And once we are safe, you will find your own home. Understand? Yes, yes? Yes, yes. yes. Good, good. <sighs> <laughs> Papa, I'm cold. Me too. Same here. Ah, oh, it's not your fault, little ones. Come, come. I've got warm Arctic fur. <laughs> okay, okay, you as well. You know, you're not such a bad guy after all for an arctic fox. Eh, nor you for a red fox. Clearly, you are good, good papa. Oh! Ho, 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 no. Ready, Tweak? Ready, Dashie. Oh, what is that? Not normal. Whoa! Hello, Pawnee. Hope we didn't scare you. What in the watery world is that? <laughs> it's the new Terra Gup 2. Tweak just built it. I based the design on a giant pangolin. Armored body, digging claws on the front legs, and, as you saw, <laughs> it can roll up into a ball. Let's hope it can handle these rock slides. We better hurry and make sure no creatures get hurt out there. Uh, Marty? No time to waste. We'll cover more ground if we split up. <laughs> <laughs> he does that kind of thing a lot. Let's roll. All you pikers, get in quickly. Hurry. <laughs> Here, take my paw. Oh, thank you. Welcome, fellas. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not so roly-poly on the inside. You can ride with us to safety. But our son is missing. We need help finding him. Understood. Arnie, keep your eye out for a young Martin. I see him. should be safe now. <gasps> Mom! Dad! <laughs> Good job. Looks like we got everyone safely down the mountain. Hold on. You don't leave any paw prints in the sand. Of course not. Sand cats have special fur on our paws. It protects us from getting burned by the hot desert sand and from sinking down into it. See? No paw prints. Hmm. That little cat looks like a tasty treat. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like a sand viper. <gasps> Stay back, you scurvy snake. Or we'll... We'll... <laughs> or you'll what? Watch out. He's venomous. Leave this to me. Pesky sand cat. Can't catch me. Yeah, well, 
I caught some of you. <laughs> Too slow again. Ah, oh, these cats are too much work. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. How'd you do that? Fighting off vipers is just part of being a sand cat. Otherwise, those pesky snakes would get into all of my food hiding places. Cost me one of my whiskers, though. You may be a small cat, but you're as tough as any pirate. Thanks. And you guys are almost as tough as any sand cat. See? Here's your backpack. Ah, oh, my wee little kitten whiskers. They're still here. A deal's a deal. You found the perfect spot to bury me treasure. <laughs> Even I couldn't find it here. You know, Sandy, not all pirates have to sail the seas. Huh? Sandy the Sand Cat, as an honorary pirate, it is your sworn duty to protect this treasure. Ah, protect this treasure. In exchange for a regular delivery of fish biscuits, courtesy of the Octonauts. Your treasure will be safe with me, Calico Jack because I'm keeping my treasure with it. Shiver me whiskers. Is that your whisker? The one you lost when you tussled with that sand viper? Yeah, it's a memento of our first pirate adventure together. And a priceless treasure indeed. I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go!